Hey, Anil Gunjal here, the Spiritual Technologist, and today I am going to talk about the OM Tech, OM Tech, that's how some people say it, 60 watt machine that I have. Um, it does come on wheels. I did put it on a, a desk that I was about to throw out, but I put it on here only because I was bending down a lot and I started to hurt my back, and I preferred that I have it at you know this height. Uh, which makes it a lot easier to access. The other thing I did was, this is optional, because the uh, vent tube was on the back, it was very hard for me to push, push this up and I was losing a lot of space. So all I did was cut a hole here and that's how I vent it out. Now, keep in mind there are some accessories you will need for this, uh, this machine, especially if you're brand new. Uh, things like a water chiller, you will, you know, up, I upgraded the air, air assist. There is an air assist in there. Um, it does come with this built-in vent, but they're not as great. Um, and especially if you're using this thing like I am in my basement, uh, the smell does not come out. So uh, you will need to modify those, and you can find videos on that. You know, those are just recommendations. Um, I did start out with a hundred watt, and I actually downgraded to this because this. I found was more precise for the things that I was making and I'll show you some of the things that I've done but let's take a close closer look now on some of the features of this thing and some of the hints that I can give you so this is the inside of the machine I have it turned on now it has a nice little light here this is where the head is and this is where your printing area is um, or your engraving area or cutting area. Um, it has a nice little screen here where you can do some manual um, items. On this side, this is where it connects to the power and to the, the computer. Um, I really don't need to use this because uh, majority of my uh, work is done through Lightroom, uh, Lightburn. Um, and if you are getting this, you will need that software. The Lightburn software is inexpensive. Uh, but the things that you can do on it are just just unbelievable. Um, this closes the lid. You, this is already has a protection, so uh, you're not harming your eye from the from the laser. It's got the key. If you want to turn it off, if you have kids, in case somebody turns it on, I leave it on. And then there's this um, emergency stop. In case you need to stop it, it just shuts it right down. So a few other things here. Um, this is a place where you can remove this and put longer, um, longer material in there. What I do is though, um, when I when I'm cutting, I close this and I leave this open, so it creates a really good uh, vent flow because you do need some type of airflow coming through there. Um, but you know, I'll leave this in when when I'm not using it. Um, you could do the same thing here, you know, if you have other material. Um, also, this is the bottom um, area uh, where, you know, all the material falls and you can clean that up. Um, let me put this back in. You also have the tube that goes in there. It comes pre-installed. Um, you might need to, al um, to align the mirrors. Uh, fortunately for me, when this showed up, I did not need to do it, um, and it worked right out of the box. That's what I liked about it. The 100 watt that I had um, had actually come with a separate tube. The tube was separate. You had to put it in, and then you had to uh, ma uh, align the mirrors, and it took a while to set up. This basically was... Uh, plug and play and I will show you a couple of the items that I have made uh, with this machine uh, you know two of my popular products one is this uh, cutting board as you can see uh, it does a really really nice job um, then I put uh, the logos on the back um, really really well comes out really nice and clean I don't even have to prep this all I have to do is engrave it and then um, I'll just wipe it down with a with a cloth. These are the candle holders that I make and this cuts it really precisely. As you can see it's beautiful. I do paint them first. Uh, you know that's the trick with these engravers is to paint them first then cut them 
and glue these things together and they come out perfect. Overall, I absolutely love this machine. Um, I will tell you that, um, you know, these do require some tuning and some, you know, hand holding. Um, and you'll need to, you know, learn how to, uh, um, you know, uh, figure things out. Uh, but that's the reason why, you know, they are why, how much they cost. Um, and they work very well. I've had this, you know, for a while now. This is my second one. So definitely highly recommend this one.